I think everybody is so optimistic that we've got, you know, a franchise quarterback, quarterback of the future. We expect him to lead us to the Super Bowls. The Joe Burrow arrow has arrived in Cincinnati, so that means it's time to check in with one of the greatest Bengal quarterbacks of all time, Ken Anderson. Ken, thank you so much for spending some time with us. How much are you looking forward to Joe Burrow's debut? Well, I can't wait. You know, everything that I've heard, everything that I've read, he's doing an, an outstanding job, not only on the field, but in his leadership qualities. Um, you know, it was exciting to watch him play at LSU last year. Uh, I can't wait to see him in the, in the stripes this year. Ken, this has been such an unusual offseason across the board in the NFL, especially with no preseason games. So what challenges might Joe Burrow face in the early portion of the season? Well, you know, I think just getting hit, you know, for the first time in several months, uh, I think the speed of the game and, you know, I, I think just getting a feel for it. And, you know, I think you see that uh, a lot lately at the start of seasons when, you know, starters don't play a lot uh, during the preseason. All of a sudden things get, tend to get a little sloppy. One of the good things is, is Joe Mixon is now signed to a, a long term deal. Uh, he's got him to rely on and, and Giovanni Bernard. Uh, I think our defense is going to be better. They spent a lot of money there in, in free agency in the offseason. So, you know, the best friend for a young quarterback is a, a solid defense and a good running game. And I think we'll have both of those. With Zach Taylor going into his second year now as head coach, you can just tell and get the feel of the culture that he is wanting to establish and install here in Cincinnati. With it being such a different type of offseason, just how would you assess the progress that he has made so far? Well, I think, you know, his leadership capabilities uh, have been off the charts, you know, to me and and how he's led this thing, this team through the pandemic and and through the the social injustice issues that we've had and and to see, you know, he communicates well with the players. I, I think they're all on the same page and what they're trying to do, the messages they're trying to send. I think the team has bought in and and I'm, I'm excited again for this year. All right, so Ken, if Joe Burrow were sitting in the seat and not me, what advice would you give him heading into week one? Well, don't try to be the savior in your first game. You know, I, I think everybody is so optimistic that we've got, uh, you know, a franchise quarterback. We've got our quarterback of the future. We expect him to lead us to the Super Bowls. Um, it, it's not going to happen in week one. You know, you've got uh, 10 other guys on, on your team. Let them do their job. You don't have to make every play in the first game. Well, Ken, thank you so much for spending some time with us. It was great to catch up with you.